Hi everyone! In my yearly Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction books, what I'm doing is looking at the price cycle for the year and trying to identify where I see that the price will be going up or down. And I write those books for my investors so that when there's volatile trading activity, my investors know what the bigger trend is going to be as I see it. And my investors who have these books can look at the chapter breakdown of these books, which especially identifies where I see that price trends are going to start uh, and change direction during the year. Now, that is different from how I would do intraday trading using astrology signals. So this video is about how I use astrology, Vedic astrology particularly, in order to uh, do intraday trading of Bitcoin or Ethereum especially, but really of anything such as the S&P 500 or whatever I want to trade. So as a trader, as an intraday trader, what I'm looking at is the moon's transit. And firstly, what I look at is is the moon going to be transiting within the three degree orb of any planet during that day at any time? And depending on how that planet is acting in the sky will determine whether the moon's transit is going to create an upward or downward price trend. Then, Depending on which planet it is, when the moon hits that exact degree of that planet or when the moon exits the three degree orb of that planet is when a price reversal will initiate. Next, in intraday trading, as a Vedic astrologer, I look at where the moon is in the Navamsha or the D9 chart. I take a look at what Navamsha pada of what specific nakshatra or constellation the moon is going to be entering or exiting. And that along with the configuration of the sky and how the moon fits into it in the Navamsha chart often gives me a lot of information into how the market is going to react especially to news events or administrative announcements that happen during the trading day. And then one more secret that I will tell you about here is that I look at uh, two things. First of all, if there is another planet which is going to be shifting Navamsha Pada, then that means that the whole configuration of the Navamsha chart will be changed and that also is an indicator of a price trend shift. And obviously, depending on the configuration and the planets involved and how they're all acting together is how I determine whether the price shift will be uh, up or down. And then, I also look at when the moon is in an exact cuspal degree relationship with certain planets in the sky. There's only certain planets that when this happens and when those planets are in a specific housewise relationship with the moon at that cuspal degree, or like within that three degree orb of the cuspal degree, that can influence price direction and when the price direction changes in a big way. 
So obviously as an intraday trader, I'm also taking into consideration the bigger trends which I identify in my uh, yearly prediction books. Obviously that's important to have as a bigger reference. But you see that there is a big difference in how I'm using astrology as a trader versus how I'm using astrology as an investor. As an investor, um, I follow the, the trends that I lay out in my prediction books, my yearly prediction books. And in those books, I'm looking at the Dasha sequences of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm looking at the bigger transits of the planets, such as obviously Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, and in a special way, the planet Mercury. And then what I do is I cross-reference those transits with the Dasha sequences. And I also do this for myself for the S&P 500. I may consider doing books, uh, yearly S&P 500 books in the future. But anyway, um, then I, as in those books, try and pinpoint the day that a trend will change based on the moon triggering those bigger transit configurations. So there's a big difference. So if you are a professional trader and you are interested, you can join me on Fairdesk Exchange. I'm leaving the information in the description section below. And if you join with my affiliate link, you will get a free VIP one account automatic upgrade up to $35,000 in trading bonus. And they have the lowest trading fees and I like it a lot actually. It's, I like the energy of that exchange. And on that exchange, I have started posting my copy trades. Now the idea here is simply so that my professional trader clients can start to get a sensitivity for how I trade using my own signals. You need to follow me on Twitter because that's where I've been mentioning uh, what I see happening in the sky for, for traders. And that should interface with your own technical indicators that you personally use as a trader. And so those things together can give you kind of a sensitivity of how I'm working. So that's my goal with that currently. Um, and so uh, you can find me on Fairdesk. I hope you join me there if you're interested as I hope to kind of continue this and hopefully build out what I'm able to uh, share, the knowledge that I'm able to share for my traders in the future. So this is kind of how I'm getting started with that. Um, so thank you and I hope to see you on Fairdesk and I hope that you will stay in touch on my Twitter and so that we can build this out together and and um, I can start sharing my knowledge to my traders also in a bigger way. Uh, I'm in the future, I'll have courses for both my investors and traders, but I need to do things step by step because that's just how I work personally. So I hope you have patience. And as I step by step increase my offerings, I hope that you take advantage of them. Thank you so much.